give give Jade a nice hug. These parameters are acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> nice hug. You, I can like I consider you all friends, but oh. I. Uh... She said it. She said it in game group hug. Yes. <laughs> um, do we have to? Yay. <laughs> <laughs>
with the aura itself. Once in a while, you know, it's it was sparked by the mini aura landing. Oh, excuse me, he says, just kind of trying to go avoid Scarlet. Scarlet falls into the water. Oh, God! <laughs> no! no! <laughs> you monster! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> anyway, he says... I love that I can move everybody now. <laughs> You've always been able to do that, or at least you should have been. Anyway, he reaches out and. <laughs> How you derail a game? You give me and Megami the ability to move everything. <laughs> okay. We continue. It's okay. I'm serious, All right, all right. It's fine. I just, it's at the point where it's just like, just let them burn it out of their system. They'll, they'll, they'll tire out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they'll tire themselves out. Ah, a spider! No! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, just don't. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You haven't seen anybody that's afraid of spiders, have you? <laughs> Why? What have you heard? <laughs> ah, spider! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we heard we heard the potential beginnings of a meme. <laughs> so let's say that. <laughs> he he just mentions like this redstone is what uh basically founded uh the country. The Ransayan Saiyans would never have come here if it weren't for this. And he just kinda gently picks up the minior and surprisingly there's no real reaction. You said the Saiyans. Ransayans. Hey Scarlet, pick up the the meteor thing. Yeah, can I can I like channel with it? He says, "Be my guest." He looks. He stands up, and then he gives you the redstone, and you can go ahead and attempt to channel. Okay, let's go and attempt to channel. Go. You can do it. You completely sync up with it. And your mind quickly takes you into the stars, which, by the way, you are fairly familiar with, considering you rearranged most of them. <laughs> there's that, there's that, that one that I'm, I rate those group of stars that I arranged to look like a butt. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the Zeus constellation. <laughs> it's just shaped like a guitar. Oh my, Lord. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like I'm imagining some alien planet out there is like looking at their constellations and just like, oh my god, the world's ending. <laughs> the signs are here when the when the stars make the shape of the sitar. <laughs> it's, it's all over. <laughs> I, mean, I can totally imagine Scarlet rearranging stars to look like a giant bow. At least you sense a yeah. couple things. This redstone, actually, you can start seeing the memories of like eight. Uh, of uh, these golets harvesting them, and it seemed like a fairly good relationship between the Minior and uh, the golet and the alchemist. You reach into the past, and you can see uh, a bunch of alchemists that all kind of look like they've all got plaids kind of style, like with the, the hick shirts and the blonde hair and stuff. Huh. Not only that... So essentially, the way this relationship works is that these uh, gullet kind of came down into the mines, and they would leave basically f like food and sustenance for the mini ore, which then dumped their aura into the nearby ores, which were then mined by the gullets and then used by the alchemists. Huh. Okay. So the mini ore themselves are fine. They could be, they could take it or leave it, but the relationship between the Pokemon and the humans in the air area was mutually beneficial. That's nice. Huh. And because they still have their cores, there's no reason that they disappear. Exactly, and there's no reason for them. There's no reason for them to leave or not leave. They can, they can just do whatever. The only issue is since the alchemists in the area left at a re relatively recent time these guys just have some extra aura that they're pumping out here and there that is causing a little bit of like environmental feedback from the rest of the pokemans okay that makes sense they do store a lot of energy from space and because they've been down here so long now it's got nowhere to go yeah exactly they just they just couldn't put it anywhere else and that's it it's just kind of nature <laughs> playing its course it's okay <laughs> guys we need to make a hole in the ceiling and free all the meteors <laughs> Okay. No, I'm joking. I mean, that might be a good thing, though, because that is what's causing problems in this cave. 
Well, uh, he looks at you and says, wait, 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 wait. We could, we could uh, just mine the, the, the red ore and and uh, the other guy is just tr- get, trying to get like a bunch of ideas going. He says we could mine the ore, or we could, uh, mm, I, I don't know, we, we could free the mini ore, but there's there's profit to be made here, he starts thinking. Um, yeah, but the mini ore were in like a, a, like a relationship with these other dudes. They were getting something from the ore that they were giving them, so I think they might get a bit upset if we just come along and just take their ore without giving them something in return. Oh, naturally, naturally. He says, no, that's not a problem. He just kind of waves his hand, not dismissing your idea, but going, of course, of course. Do the Minio want to be in a movie by any chance? (laughs) (laughs) They're Pokemon. They don't care. They don't know what a movie is. Uh, Scarlet, you hear the little Minio voice. I can be a star. (laughs) (laughs) I'm full of gas. (laughs) (laughs) This one wants to be in a movie. (laughs) Lots and lots of hot gas. He's like, just uh, like Hollywood. <laughs> Nothing but hot gas. All right. He, he goes out and he starts talking to his partner up here, and they're whispering excitedly about the prospect of uh, continuing their little documentary. So what do you guys think as a group? Wait, did we ask what they're doing here? Mm, they, we know that they're making a movie. That, that is all we know. Are they, they're part of that guy's crew? I... Wait, am I getting the mix about somebody else? I'm not sure if, like, it was, they ever said anything about it. Yeah, we don't, we don't. Yeah, no, do we know what they're doing here? I don't think I we think, do. I don't think we, I don't think we ever that. asked what they were doing here. The the one boy with the red spike in his hair says, oh, by the way, we're making a movie. This is the producer. Hi. <gasps> you. You're the one that caused all this trouble. <laughs> he looks at you and goes, what? Me? I don't. Oh. He, he stops for a minute. He says, the interns got you. didn't they? Well, yeah, they're interns. Uh, Don't he, leave interns on their own. You know, rule one. He, he just kind of starts rubbing his temples and going, of course, of course. Did the direct, was the director left alone with them? Uh... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. Ooh, okay. He says, all right. Damage control. Did you find <laughs> any? We found any. Oh, we found several. Oh, yeah, we, found, we, found, we, found, we, found, we found at least four or five? You was found five? three. You found three. Well, there's more than that. I could have there was more than that. There are five. Alex, Alex, Alex and Tracy rescue one. We rescued one. There was one in the cave. There was one with, with the pillow. Yes. So that is three. Oh, it felt like there was a lot more. What no, it just, it just took, we just kind of went in this cave for a bit. Can I maybe ask the mini or what they want instead of us just assuming what they want? Uh, I want to die! <laughs> <laughs> the one mini or goes, we, we can take it or leave it, really. <laughs> We're, we're good. We just have a lot of excess ore. He would basically be like Lobby. They don't know what the outside world is like, but they, I mean, they must know what space is like. And the fact it's like, eh, it'd be nice to go back in space. Yeah, either, you know, they, you know they, 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 they are from space. We are rocks, too. <laughs> like, like, we normally don't move. <laughs> yeah, but your only food is in space. Uh, I can only talk to the red haired girl in New York. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's Marcos, also known as Missing Novice, also known as Mason. Just wanted to thank all of you for continuing to support Pokemon The Road to Victory. It's thanks to viewers like you that we can even continue this series. However, did you know that you could support the series directly on Patreon? For as little as $5 a month, you can gain access to our monthly lore packets and uncut live streams. Pledge today and catch up with the whole series before anyone else. Also, if you wanted to see my personal adventures, you can subscribe or follow me on twitch.tv slash missingnovice, where I play a whole bunch of stuff, but I also run my own D&D things. I have monthly sessions of Pokemon Advance Course, my own Pokemon Tabletop United campaign, and recently started Ravnica Frontier, a Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica campaign. So if you want to check up on those, be sure to follow me over there. We'll see you all on Twitch! This episode is brought to you by Kohath the Paladin Jellyfish Plush. Use the coupon code LCCGAME for 10% off your total order at LoadingCrewCrafts.com.
Sorry, Scarlet, go ahead. Okay. So, yeah. She just like, they, these guys just don't care, so just do what the hell you guys want. Just make it nice. <laughs> I think you can use them for your movie as long as you release them afterwards. I think that's fair. He thinks for a moment. He says, yeah, that's okay, too. And he says, no, 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 that's not a problem. That, we could do that. And then... Hmm, I... I do want to. I do want to check out, and then the the other boy is kind of whispering at him. We should just like let or, him. Or it can be one of those wibble balls. Wibble balls. Yeah, you know, seen those little the wibble balls that you can get for babies. No. They're basically balls with lumps on, and you push a button, and they go oh, and bounce around the floor. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, was were you only taking the red stone because of the because you can make money off of it? I guess. Oh no no no. We we wanted to do a docu. We wanted to do a documentary about the region, like Route 7 in general. No one comes here. I don't know if you noticed, but the, the main town is kind of kind of crappy. I mean, oh, he, little... he, made, he made it seem like you were doing an action movie or something. <laughs> well, there is, there is a hero in the narrative, and that's me. He points at himself. And we are looking to cast a couple of villains. Um, it's, Wait, it's... so you're the director and you're casting your a villain. Hero? Well, he's the producer, so he can basically do whatever he wants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, yeah, it was just a, just a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> just a good idea. I pat myself on the back. <laughs> <laughs> he says, you know, it, it's... it's mm, Okay. No one, Literally no one else is here, but, you know, it, you ever you ever just hate always being a bridesmaid and never a bride? That, that's that's my life right now. You, you're sick of being a bridesmaid and not a bride? Yes. You should get married. I've never accepted a bridesmaid invitation, so no, no, I don't know what that feels like. He goes, okay, what if you have a best friend, and they're real cool and all, but You've already they're... lost me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it kind of just looks at Jade all sad, like... Aww. Yeah, that's really sad now. <laughs> I don't know what it means to have a best friend. I only know that people are nice and they can be okay sometimes. You don't have one best friend, Jade. You go have or, Go Jade. or give, give Jade a nice hug. These parameters are acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> nice hug. You, I can like, I considered you all friends, but I. Uh... She said it. She said it in game group hug. Yeah. <laughs> um, do we have to? Yay! <laughs> okay. Chibi Tina pops out <laughs> and coils around all of us. <laughs> you can stop now. <laughs> I get the idea. <laughs> and then, and then Mudkit just leaps out of my hood and then plops in on, on top of us all. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then more. Uh, <laughs> one guy looks at the other and says, "Do you think this always happens? Probably. They, they do." Don't do the <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, he says, "No, I like you, you. ever have that best friend who like." Even though you wrote his song for him and it gets played all the goddamn time, they only see it as Jesus' song and not your song. <gasps> if I wrote Jesus? a song, I'd write it for myself, so no. Jesus? <laughs> Jesus? Yeah, Jesus? He, he, he looks at you and goes, um, yes. Uh, hey. Oh, I oh, know! Yeah. He, he looks he's like, I knew I recognized you. He, he puts out a hand and... Like stretches out another arm and says, "You're Scarlet." <laughs> she's like suddenly backs up and realizes what she's done, and she just goes all shy. And she's like, uh, uh, <laughs> "Your boyfriend's a dick." <laughs> yeah. He goes, "No, no, no." He comes in. He he pulls you in for uh, just like a big brother kind of hug, and like ruffles your hair and bow. Scarlet just... <laughs> kind of just like just like. Her, you know, like neck withdraws into a chest, just like, <laughs> like what's going on? He says, "I don't know what you did to that boy, but that boy will not shut up about you." <laughs> Aww. Aww, she just goes completely red and silent. She's like, Ooh. "That's adorable." <laughs> yeah, that's why I hate him more now. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "No, no, no." He he looks at you. Goes, "No, no, no, no." Jesus is a good guy, but y you know that song that plays whenever he enters a room. Um, yeah. it's hard to miss. He says, <laughs> "Yeah." <laughs> He's like, I wrote that. <laughs> yes, okay. thank you for that. Yeah, earworm. Well, it, it made me a lot of money, but okay, like, no, I'm not really gonna punch him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it made me a lot of money, but like, Zeus gets the credit for that, you know. And like, if if I I thought if I if I have a hit, then maybe maybe 
well, whatever. It doesn't matter. He says, I, I just want to make this document documentary now, and now all of my interns are missing, or at least a couple of them are, and the union's going to get pissed. So, like, if you want to help me find my interns, I would be happy to cast you in this movie. That would be we amazing. Found- we would be uh, happy to help as long as you're not hurting or affecting any of the Pokemon in the area like you've been doing. <laughs> I, I've, I haven't been hurting any of them. You took one of their stones. Uh, yeah, well, mm, any Pokemon could have taken their stone. It's just... We also got attacked by Pokemon because you took the stone. All right, well, we'll, we'll Scarlet, be more careful now. Scarlet gets her phone out and texts Jesus and is like, Hey, I found one of your friends today. He's, How the? He's nice. Pikachu. How are you getting signal down here? <laughs> Mystic <laughs> Pokemon <laughs> world. Mystic powers. <laughs> yeah. Mystic magic, Here, whatever. From the other dimension, Rick goes, oh, She's a wizard. <laughs> you could be on top of a mountain in Pokemon world and it's still you make heard a of 3G work. and 4G. This is Mystic G. <laughs> <laughs> MG. MG. Oh my gosh, Alakazams are like tech support and stuff, like helping boost signals. Pikachu! <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. Dini, just move your spoon to the left. <laughs> the left. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Full bars. <laughs> either way, he says, he says, listen, either way, we don't want to hurt the Pokemon in the area. We just want to make our documentary. But uh, now we're, we're in a little bit of a hot water situation. So if you could go, if you uh, find the interns, we'll try to draw up all the, le- um, all the best information we can about not harming the Minior or the Stone Pokemon or anything like that. We'll just try to, we'll try to do this as legit as possible. I'm down with that. Yes, yes. Cool, you're very reasonable. All right, let's get to it then. Yeah, so he says, okay, so I'm going to go... Uh, back, talk to the director, make sure no more interns move. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he says, okay, we'll exchange numbers. He goes up to, uh, you know, he'll go to Scarlet. He says, okay, so here's my number. Thanks. You guys exchange information. And he says, all right, I'll see you back in the village. And uh, just try to just try to get them to where they need to go. They're all kind of idiots. We, we paid for minimum wage, and by God, did we get what we get paid for. Okay. So, so, well, we, we we got three. How many more do we have to rescue? You need to rescue two more. He said five interns. Are they, are they both outside on there too. We've got to save. Well, yeah, we we kind of knew where everyone was, but then we went to the cave. So yeah. we should go to that sleepy Aerodactyl. <laughs> yeah, but first, let's go to the Aerodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> that we don't know about. <laughs> yeah, let's. I mean, do you actually want to go near the thing? I mean, I wouldn't mind an Aerodactyl. <laughs> either, either way, I... Aerodactyl. Okay, yeah, you guys get out of the cave. Get safely. Don't touch anything. We'll meet you outside. You, you know that little Pokemon, like, dip to white where the characters just disappear? Yeah. <laughs> One so is this a wall or is this a... Can we walk through this I way? I think you can climb up that. Uh, you can climb up there. Okay. <laughs> All right, it was... Uh, Lobby can climb it, no problem, and probably even Scarlet could. Actually... Pro- Actually, Gullert, probably all you, of you. Yeah, we probably could all. I was just gonna say, Golurk could probably help us up. Oh, that too. Oh, yeah, are we? Of uh, come, like, Robo George. Just... Are we leaving this thing here? Oh, okay, yeah, bye. You, yeah, no, no. Are you? What are you doing with this? Oh, well, Scarlet was talking with it. But... Suppose Scarlet, it should come with me. Yes. Okay. Okay. It, <laughs> it doesn't want to hop into a Pokeball right now, but it will follow ah, you. Um, I mean, I'm gonna program Golurk to uh. Can I program him to like a standby mode that's like beside us? So like if just so that he follows us, but he's got like semi orders to follow us. I cannot follow you up that ledge. Oh, whoa. What you happened? cannot? What? Oh, sorry. Huh? He says I have that ledge is is. Ah, there you go. There you go, Sarah. What's he doing there? Come back. He says uh, the ledge is basically too tall for him. Like He, he... doesn't have like. You have rocket feet. For I was going to say. Well, you you can't, like, pop up here? He's also a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Golets and Golurks have rocket feet. <laughs> uh, yeah, they did. Golurks can learn fly. There's no reason you should not be able to hop up here. Golets can learn fly? Oh. I, All right, you know I what? I, I, don't, I don't know if I can learn they fly. They still but... have rocket feet. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll, like I'll just tell you, you know what, it's an, it's, an auto, it's an artificial goalet, like, it really can't. Like, it wasn't built with rocket feet in mind. 
about that? Just tell him to meet, just meet us around the uh, corner or whatever. Sure. Yeah, go go here and punch your way through. <laughs> yeah, you're good at that. <laughs> it, it, like, puts its hands together, and you hear some crunching rock as these parameters are acceptable. Yeah, it's like, why, why don't you just craft yourself a ramp if you can punch through walls? Oh, that is also a good point. I <laughs> You it, could just literally pound the ground to a slope to where you could walk up. It yeah. starts punching the earth like like lava, just shaking almost the entire cave. Oh. I like the show look. <laughs> I like him a lot, too, yeah. I might keep him. Yeah, you should. He, he knows how to solve problems. But is he a real Pokemon? He ascends the little hill he climbed and starts following you along. All right, standby mode. Standby mode. Good so, girl. Hey guys, what's this over here? Give him back! <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> Lavi, you enter an fine, area. Fine, I get this thing then. Ooh. No! <laughs> you can't have two things. Don't be greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I thought this argument was going to come up during the Absol arc. No, it's coming up with a mini or a gullet, and a puppy. <laughs> Poppy Stuart. <laughs> the fans want it. <laughs> as you as you travel, uh, you do see a slumbering Aerodactyl up in this corner. That is a big Aerodactyl. Quick, yeah, we should like now whilst it's asleep. <laughs> oh god, it's a no. Total it's aerodactyl or something, it's isn't gonna it? kill us. Is it a totem one? Is that why it's uh, something? I mean you can, uh, either okay, so people with either high Pokemon knowledge. So basically, all of you can do something to examine. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Where's all, my kid? Uh, Jade, you have the scouter. Um, Luna has got Pokemon knowledge. Lavi, yep, yep, you've yep. got Aura Sense, and Scarlet, you have Channeling. So I will do Aura Sense, I guess. What is my scouter roll? Uh, do a perception check, sweetie. Okay, one second. Or actually, you can you can actually use uh, technology for that. Your... Okay, cool. Yes. Do I roll my... Is Holy a... education Guys, oh, okay, guys shut up. I figured it out. Okay. <laughs> never mind. Okay. It's hocked up on steroids. Let's leave it. Luna, you know that this is, in... this is indeed much larger than a typical ancient dead Aerodactyl. It is also, un... <laughs> it is also unusual that it's alive, but not unheard of. And it appears to be level 50, and yes, it is a totem. 